For today, we are going to discuss the Binet's formula and how it is being used in order to find the unknown term or the nth term of a Fibonacci sequence. Kakabagyan! Kumusta kayo nga eh? At yung manan ni Ultag yung nga ito. Katakta nga panawin, at dati nag-request gamin kinyak nga eh, nga ti panagsaok man ka nukot English. Iso nga madi kayo ang nagtakta ka ng apel ito sumarong nga video nga ito. Aging English sa mga dito yun. Gamin ka no, takno kasta ka makarelate ta ka no, talesun ta ka no dito, yun ti may isang subject da, kakabagyan. The Fibonacci sequence is a sequence of numbers which are 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and so on and so forth. It's a sequence and it should be orderly. It means that the first term is 1, the second term is 1, the third term is 2, the fourth term is 3, and so on and so forth. And we cannot interchange those numbers. To find the nth term or the unknown term of a Fibonacci sequence, we apply the common formula f sub n equals f sub n minus 2 plus f sub n minus 1, where n is greater than or equal to 3. For example, if we want to get f sub 9 or the ninth term, f sub 9 will be equal to f sub 9 minus 2 plus f sub 9 minus 1. Therefore, f sub 9 equals f sub 7 plus f sub 8. And we can see that f sub 7 or the 7th term is 13, while f sub 8 or the 8th term is 21. Therefore, 13 plus 21 equals 34. And the 9th term is 34. As we can see, we just have to add the 7th term and the 8th term or the 2 preceding terms. But what if we are interested to get f sub 15? f sub 15 equals f sub 15 minus 2 plus f sub 15 minus 1. And that is f sub 13 plus f sub 14. But we do not yet know f sub 13 and f sub 14. Therefore, we cannot get f sub 15 without finding f sub 13 and f sub 14. The limitation of the formula is that we have to know the two preceding terms before we can get the unknown term. And so, we now introduce the Binet's formula. This Binet's formula is very important in finding the unknown term of a Fibonacci sequence. In fact, with this Binet's formula, we do not need to get the two preceding terms in order to know the nth term of a Fibonacci sequence. So, the Binet's formula is that f sub n equals 1 over square root of 5 times the quantity 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 raised to the n minus 1 minus the square root of 5 all over 2 raised to the n. And there is a simplified version of that formula. f sub n equals the quantity 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 raised to the n all over the square root of 5. Please take note that our final answer should always be rounded off. It must always be a whole number. So let us now have an example. We will use the Binet's formula to find the 15th term of the Fibonacci sequence. So for the solution, it's already here. For n is equal to 15, 
simply make use of the formula f sub n equals 1 over the square root of 5 times the quantity 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 raised to the n minus the quantity 1 minus the square root of 5 all over 2 raised to the n. So, by substitution, we see that this is 1 over the square root of 5 times the quantity 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 raised to the 15 minus the quantity 1 minus the square root of 5 all over 2 raised to the 15. In order to answer this problem, we need to use a scientific calculator. So in this case, we continue. This is 1 over the square root of 5. And then using a scientific calculator, 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 would give us 1.618033989 and it will be raised to the 15th power minus for 1 minus the square root of 5 all over 2 if we use a scientific calculator it would give us negative 0 0.618033988 raised to the 15 and when we continue that this becomes 0 0.447213595. So again, by using a scientific calculator, we divide 1 by square root of 5, and that is 0 0.447213595. And when we raise 1.618033989 to the 15th, Power, we obtain 1364.000736 while on the other hand if we raise negative 0 0.618033988 to the 15th this would give us negative 7.33137425 times 10 raised to the negative 4 this is now equal to 0 0.447213595 times 1364.001469. Now you might be wondering where we obtain um, 1364.001469. This is the result of adding 1364.00. 7.3313742.25 times 10 to the negative 4. The result of multiplying 0.447213595 and 1364.001469 is 610.000006. And if we round it off to the nearest whole number, it becomes 610. Therefore, the 15th term that we are looking for is 610. We can actually use the simplified Binet's formula. F sub n equals the quantity 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 raised to the n all over the square root of 5. So by substitution, F sub 15 is equal to the quantity 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 raised to the 15 all over the square root of 5. And again, using a scientific calculator, 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 would be 1.618033989. And we have to raise that to the 15th power. While... The denominator, which is a square root of 5, if we use a scientific calculator, would give us 2.236067978. 1.618033989, if we raise that to the 15th power, would give us 1364.000736. And the denominator is still, it is 2.236067978. Dividing those two numbers, we obtain 609.9996734. And again, if we round this off to the nearest whole number, the answer is 610. Just like what we have obtained in the 
first solution. Still, the answer is 610. I would like to emphasize that we can easily answer this if we have a scientific calculator. In fact, for some scientific calculators, we just have to input those numbers directly in the scientific calculator and we can get the result immediately. So, a while ago, the answer for F sub 15 is 610. We can easily verify if our answer is correct. Now, we have here the Fibonacci sequence. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. We just have to generate the first 15 terms of this sequence. So, um, we just have to add that to preceding terms as usual. In this case, for the 15th term, which is 610, it is obtained by adding the 13th term, which is 233, and the 14th term, which is 377. Therefore, 233 plus 377 is equal to 610. And that is the 15th term. Of the for our second and last example, we want to obtain the 35th term of the Fibonacci sequence or F sub 35. Again, we use the Binet's formula. F sub n equals 1 over the square root of 5 times the quantity 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 raised to the nth power less 1 minus the square root of 5 all over 2 raised to the nth power. So by substitution, f sub 35 equals 1 over the square root of 5 times the quantity 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 raised to the 35 minus the quantity 1 minus the square root of 5 all over 2 raised to the 35. And again, by using a scientific calculator, F sub 35 equals 1 over the square root of 5, which is 0 0.447213595. And while ago, we have this. 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 is 1.618033989. One we have to raise that to the 35th power. And again, 1 minus the square root of 5 all over 2 using a scientific calculator is negative 0 0.618033988 and we will have to raise that to the 35th power. And so, if we multiply 0.447213595 by 20633239.11, we will get 9227465.039. And when we round this off to the nearest whole number, we obtain 9227465. And that is the 35th term of the Fibonacci sequence. As usual, we can make use of the simplified Binet's formula, which is F sub n equals 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 raised to the nth power over the square root of 5. By substitution, we have F sub 35, which is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 raised to the 35 all over the square root of 5. And while ago, in the first example, we were able to find out that using a scientific calculator, 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 is 1.618033989. We will raise that to the 35th power. If we raise 1.618033989 to the 35th power, we get 20... 633239.11 and we will divide that by the square root of 5 which is 2.2360679.78 so dividing those two numbers we get 
227465.047 and if we continue this uh, we have to round this off again to the nearest full number and so our final answer is 9,227,465 and this is the 35th term of the Fibonacci sequence. So to summarize, in order to make use of the Binet's formula to find the unknown term of a Fibonacci sequence, first of all, you will need a scientific calculator and then use the formula. We have to see to it that we substitute the value of n correctly. And of course, we have to make use of the scientific calculator correctly in order to get the final answer. And don't forget to round off your final answer always. It should be a whole number. For practice and mastery, I want you to answer the following challenge items. There are three of them. For number one, what is the 42nd term of the Fibonacci sequence? Use the Binet's formula to answer this item. For number two, we have here the Fibonacci sequence 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on and so forth. What if we wish to get the terms? before one what could be those numbers try to find out what are those numbers what should be written on the blanks there in item number two and finally for the third item find the first 15 terms of the fibonacci like sequence 2 5 7 12 19 and so on and so forth now, why is this a Fibonacci-like sequence? Thank you for watching, and I hope that you have learned something from this video. Ay na, apa nakaregrega laki di mo tin ayate ag English English yun ngam anyang ay garudon kakabagian nalpas mo tin ket na irahos mo lang. Sige, thank you, thank you. Kaya naman minsan tumanan, ah.